I think we have two sets of unemployment problems. One of them is the very high rate of unemployment we have right now. And if you take something, if you take unemployment, I think I said this before, if you take unemployment, the people who've dropped out of the, out of the labor force and temporary workers, it comes to about 16% of, of the total, work, total workforce. Uh, it's an enormous problem. And I think that, and we can't use the, the fiscal measures you might, fiscal stimulus, because we've taken that to the point where if you would impose another one on top of this one, you run all kinds of other risks. So I, my, my view, Sebastian, would be that what we can try to do is to put, what we should do, but I think the politics of this are very difficult, is to put in place a serious program to address our long-term fiscal trajectory, but have it begin to take effect, not right now, and I think that the, the, this, the cutting of discretionary spending right now is, is really quite misguided, very misguided, but to take effect in three years, and hopefully we'll have had some growth and we can better absorb. And I think that could increase confidence in the business community because I think it could reduce uncertainty about future policy, future economic conditions. I think the President was right to issue, and I think actually it was a very good thing to have done, to issue his executive order for regulatory reform. And what he said basically was we want strong regulatory regimes, but we want cost-benefit analysis, and his word was balance, if I remember correctly. I think that in the first two years, I actually think they handled economic policy in many respects very soundly, but there clearly was strain between the business community and the administration. I think that did contribute to uncertainty, and there have been a lot of efforts on both sides to repair that, and I, I think that is constructive. I think that we should be doing the Korean trade agreement, uh, and presumably we will, but it's gotten hung up, as you know, over a bunch of political issues. And I think we should do immigration reform. So those are some thoughts for the shorter term. For the longer term, I think the answer does lie in the, in the area that, well, it lies in a lot of areas, but one of them, a very important one, is to reform and improve our K through 12 education system.